Okay, guys, welcome to my quick demonstration of the differences between uh, using a CPU render and a GPU render. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that into a uh, render. And we're going to have a look here. Now it's 2056 down here on the clock. I'm going to start the render and I'm going to run it at a quality of 2000. Right, so let's go for a render. And name. And it has started now all we have to do is wait so at 2057 it started the render and I'm just now gonna pause and come back to you when this is coming close okay so here we are we're getting close to the end as you can see from the progress bar and we can see here is 2109 so at this point we've been going for 12 minutes this is for HD standard and 2000 quality um, nothing particularly fancy at all which is about ready to pop so 13 minutes and a bit there you go done so it's just a bit of a an example of the difference between this um, type of rendering time wise and uh, what we would get with GPU rendering so here we are in uh, Fractorium I'm just gonna paste XML over which comes from my clipboard right so the main thing here is basically just to kind of show the final render. And I've set 2000 as the quality. Super sample. I'm just going to bring that back down to 2 to be, um, you know, comparing like with like. We're ready to go here. You just click on start and there we go. Now it tells us we don't have to really keep an eye on down here and the timing. But uh, as you can see, we're talking about about half a minute for this. Okay, while that rendering is going on, I'm just going to very quickly run through uh, the difference in smoothness in the interface. This is what it looks like in J Wildfire when I'm moving a triangle around. I can uh, switch off the real time. It might be a little bit easier to see what's happening. I have to set my change my settings a little bit here to make it look better. But as you can see, it's a little bit skippity skippity. Now I'm going to switch over to Fractorium. I'll show you the difference. Nice and smooth, and with a pretty good quality, almost proper rendered quality preview. So that, my friends, that's the difference working with the GPU on your graphics card to do the rendering in real time on what you're working on. As you can see, the response is immediate and the quality is so good that you can actually see exactly what you're designing. That's it. Over to the finished render. So this is basically just to give you an idea, number one, of the interface, the smoothness of the interface when you're working on your uh, fractals and the actual speed of output. Can you imagine this now, guys, if you actually applied this kind of speed and created animations and things like that from inside of J Wildfire? Dream come true, this would be insofar as, um, you know, getting productive. All right, let's have a quick look. This is the one here. So not too shabby. And it took us all of, in total, 36 seconds and 36.59 seconds, call it 37 seconds. So that's that, my friends, is the difference. Uh, we're talking about, you know, 13, uh, 13, 14 minutes versus 37 seconds. That's why you need to help us out and get GPU rendering into J Wildfire. Thank you for watching. Bye.